The idea to write a book about toilets came to me rather slowly. In 2013, I got two assignments. One was to write about new technologies for developing contexts, and the other was about heat in our cities. And that's where I learned that we throw a lot of heat down into our sewers. And after a while, I realized that there was so much material that it really deserved a book. So one place I traveled was the city of Capetian in Haiti. It's the second largest city after Port-au-Prince. In Capetian, in the poor areas, I learned that some people use pit latrines, which can be in really poor condition, um, not very private because there's not a good door or lock. They can flood when it rains. And when people need to empty them, they have to pay a lot of money for someone to come. Another option for people who have no toilet at all is known as flying toilets, and that's people using plastic bags that then they fling away. The Soil Project offers something very different to its customers. A toilet that they can put into their homes, into a place that's private, and if it floods, they can lift up the toilet and put it on a table, for example, so that it's always available to them. Workers come and collect the container and drive it to a central processing facility. There, over several months, they turn it into compost. I like to think of our toilets as a paradox. On the one hand, they are kind of modern miracles that safely take away our pee and our poop. But on the other hand, they are a technology that's more than 100 years old, and they just aren't really up for a lot of the challenges that our societies face today. We can, and we should, ask more of our toilets. But that's going to mean letting go of the fixed notion of the toilet that we've inherited from the past, broadening our definition of sanitation, and making room for toilets to evolve.